Hi, Upper Kaba from Malaysia again. Uh, okay, so today I'm going to go over one topic which as a fountain pen collector, if you happen to be living in Malaysia, you probably want to know what choices do you have for fountain pen or fountain pen related uh, paraphernalia um, sellers do you have for choices in Malaysia. Mainly if you are in Malaysia, you are a little bit out of luck and uh, you are mainly stuck with these two. Number one is KS Gill. K as in the letter K and S, letter S and Gill, G-I-L-L, KS Gill and PenGallery.com. Okay, now in this I will go over a little bit what I think about these two places and whether or not they uh, it will be worth your time to visit these places. Okay, let's go over KS Gill first. KS Gill's primary uh, primary focus is still people who walk into the shop. So you, you see a you, you see that their boutique looks really nice and it's been geared to actually uh, deal with people who walk in and the owner is very friend friendly and they have a wide array of. Uh, uh, new pens as well as vintage pens. They also sell things like lighters and uh, curios, I would say. So, but uh, their prices tend to be, uh, in general, a little bit uh, higher than what you would find in, uh, say, you would go to eBay or maybe find a pen in FP Geeks. So, don't feel sore if you buy a pen there and then go back and research online and do a bit of uh, eBaying or Googling and you find that you actually paid more for it. That's KS Gill. Uh, for, okay, for Pen Gallery, they happen to focus more on number one, new pens and number two, they focus, uh, they focus their sales not so much on people who walk in, rather just sales online. So once I actually went to the shop, they have a beautiful uh, boutique. There's a, uh, there's a few pens there, but there was actually no one at the counter. So they are, they are actually at the back of the shop, busy packing packing up pens to be, to be sent out. It is your thing to go here. Uh, I would actually recommend you to buy online from, from them uh, rather than uh, go to the shop. Because actually some of the models that they list online is actually uh, pens that were, that were put uh, and, and especially uh, uh, booked to be sold online. Stuff you, find, you might find online, you go to the shop, they can tell you that it's actually it's not for sale or, or the stock has finished. This is because the stock is actually for sales online, not for people who walk in. So for Pen Gallery, I recommend that you just buy from them online. They have some pretty good sales once in a while and you can get a bargain off there and you won't feel sore and after that looking at other places because the prices will be the same. So, but however, the only thing about Pen Gallery is that they don't have, I repeat, they don't have vintage pens. Most of the pens are, or I would say, all of the pens that I've seen are contemporary pens. So don't go there looking for vintage pens, you won't find it. Uh, other places here in Malaysia, if you're looking for specific boutiques, there is one really good Mont Blanc boutique at uh, Pavilion. Pavilion. I, I will list down the address all in the description below. You guys can, can, can just find out if you are new to Malaysia and you want to, to, to get your fountain pen fixed, then you can, you can basically look up these places that are listed below. So fountain, the fountain pen boutique in Pavilion, go to the one in Pavilion. Other places are just very small. They don't cater for a lot of pens. Uh, go for the one in Pavilion, Mont Blanc boutique. They have a wide array. And if you are lucky, look for the technician there. Ask for the technician, the person who repairs. He actually has a couple of vintage Mont Blanc pens. So, uh, those are the few choices that you have uh, searching for pens in Malaysia. Uh, if, you, if you guys do know of any others, please comment below and then uh, add on to the knowledge base. But happy hunting for fountain pens in Malaysia and until the next time, Selamat Menulis!